Hey, how's everyone doing today? We are back on my survival world, where I believe is going to be our second episode already, so we're going to have a lot to do in the coming future, and a lot has changed as well since we were last on here. We are still on Snapchat 21W05B, and uh, two new snapshots came out since the last episode and uh i'll just those is when they um they introduced the new cave generation and since this world was already like preloaded before that they don't allow you to load up old worlds in a uh the new snapshots because they don't know how they're going to figure out the new cave system but i have a pretty cool video on the new cave generation it should hopefully be coming out pretty soon. It's a big project I've been working on. That's why I haven't been uploading on these worlds that much. Because I've just been working on that project. And for today's episode, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I figured we should probably start beating the bosses. Like the Wither and the Ender Dragon. Mostly because, you know, I've had this world for almost two years and I haven't done either one of them. I've just been building stupid projects. So it's about time we start, like, upgrading ourselves and pretty much beating the game how it's supposed to be and building it off from that. So first things first, we're going to go build a sugarcane farm, which will be today's project because... To enchant, I'd want enchanted books and just throw them in an anvil and I'd rather do that than try to get lucky through the enchantment table and like having the combined pieces of armor. I don't know. That doesn't seem appealing to me. So I was thinking we can build a um, our sugarcane farm over here. We'll do a little bridge and we'll dig out an area... To, Put the farm you know it's out of the way just enough so where you know, won't notice it if you don't need it but if you need it it'll be right over here it's on the far end of the base but um the more we expand the more useful it will be in that location so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to grab the materials we need for the bridge so i'll go do that real quick and i'll catch you back over there so we got our starting material. I'm not going to worry about the floor right here for now. That we could do when we're actually done. And I was thinking we could do a bit of a different bridge than we're used to for this one. We could have it come down a slab. Have it arch all the way over there. It'll be a little different from the usual bridges you see around the base. It'll give it a little bit of a different personality which is what I'm all about coming down to like building stuff I love having a variety of different builds so we'll just build this out up to here for now and I realized I'm gonna need torches so we're gonna have to go grab some of those eventually I'm not too sure if this is gonna come out the way I expected I was hoping that there would still be ledges on the side, which I obviously d forgot to do. They could look over and see the lava pit, but obviously the whole bridge is covering it. So we'll just live with how it is for now. Maybe we'll do something with it, but it's not really my priority right now. It's just a, a bit of an annoyance because I hate when fences stick to the wall like this. I hate that. It bothers me so much, especially when it's like the intention of being a bridge. It, like, defeats the purpose almost. So we'll just do that. For the sugarcane farm, I think I'm going to do it 16 wide, like this. And then about 1, 2, 3. Oh my gosh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
We'll do it 20 down. It'll be a big farm. Like, we're only going to have to harvest this, like, once every few, like, real-life months, almost. Hopefully that's the goal, but we'll see how it plans out. While mining, I'm pretty sure we just stumbled into a fresh ravine. I've never been in, and we have a full chainmail zombie. It would be sick if he dropped a piece of armor, and he didn't. And no, we have definitely been here. I just don't remember this cave. No, I haven't, actually. Yes, I only visited the first part. It's clearly untouched, so... We're gonna go on a little caving expedition while we're out here. See if we find any goodies. We got some gold and iron. Alright, so this actually leads into a whole entire new cave system that I've never explored or even knew about in this world. So this will give us a great opportunity to branch out our underground base out here actually. And to build cooler things. So I'll definitely keep this in my mind. I have nowhere near explored any of it, just this main ravine part and like maybe a cable off to the side, but that's it. There's nothing else I've touched, so we're definitely going to come back here and see what we could do with all that area now. And also, I forgot to say, I'm going to want pistons like holding the door closed. So it will be like a secret entrance almost. We'll have like a button right here that'll open all the pistons. So we just walk in, get our sugar cane, walk out, and then lock it up so no one else can come in and steal our delicious, amazing books that'll be very valuable to us in the future. So our sugar cane farm is going to actually probably extend into the cave, which is not a big deal because it's just the end of it. We could hide it if we need to. Alright, so we have the first half of the thing mined out, and I'm pretty sure my pickaxe is going to die because I don't have any unbreaking on it. It's just efficiency, so it'll probably die after the next layer. I'm going to want to bring it up just two blocks. We'll give it enough time to grow up to the desired height we need and it won't look so condensed together either so it's gonna look nice afterwards all right so after a lot of work off camera i mined the whole thing out and i replaced the roof with stone brick i think it would look cool instead of just normal stone blocks so we have this up here and now what we're gonna do is start putting all the sand down i hope this is enough it should be pretty close so what we're going to do is mine this out and place all the sand it's going to be in intervals not intervals but like every block or every other block is going to be a water block so it would be like the most efficient for sugarcane we'll figure it out as we start placing the blocks and I have a cool idea for how I want to set up the walls. I have a feeling that if we do like a pillar of wood, a water going all the way down, pillar of wood, water, pillar of wood, water, all along both the walls, I already measured it out. It should line up just perfectly. So we'll do that afterwards because still want this to look pretty cool even though I'll most likely never be using it. Just a nice cool room farm design would best suit the world. Anyways, I'll stop talking and we'll get back to you once I clear this whole section out. Alright, so now that we have everything, start over. Now that we have the whole ground all cleared out. We can start placing the sand just like so and it would be like 
or like this. I'll have actually I don't know how I want to really do this. We'll be like water, sugar cane, sugar cane. I don't know. We'll probably just end up doing it like this. Because this is the first time I've actually built like a real sugarcane farm. I would just usually place it alongside rivers in my other worlds. So this is a bit of a challenge for me. So we'll have... Yeah, I messed up the alignment. It should be one more that way, but it's fine. I'll leave it as it is. So now what we got to do is this. Pretty much just like dice it off. Like this, so it would be like a water and then sugar cane. This is going to be a very tedious project because we're going to need a lot of water buckets to really get it going. I don't know how long that's going to take, so we'll just keep pushing through. All the sand is now in place. So we could start filling it with water. I'm just going to build a little, like, <laughs> infinite water thing right here. Just so I could get water pretty easily. I just come in here, grab it. So I'll go snag some buckets and extra waters. Start planting everything. This project is being more annoying than I thought it was going to take, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's got to be done eventually, so I'll go grab the buckets and start filling it. Look at that. We got two jokesters over there thinking that they're going to invade. We got them. All right, so now let's start filling. Oh, this is going to take a long time. Oh, my gosh. I'll just... I'll cut forward for you guys and... Let you know what it looks like afterwards all right so now that all the water is down on the ground and this took much longer than i thought it was going to take to begin with so that was fairly annoying i'm sure there's a better design rather than just every other block like a checker pattern but this is the like design i'm like most familiar with so i just stuck with it First things first, we'll already start, we'll start placing all the sugar cane. And what we're going to have to do over the next few episodes is find a swamp biome and cover this up with lily pads. Only reason why I don't want to do it now is because of the new Minecraft update actually. With the cave generation, I don't want to be loading new chunks in trying to find a swamp biome. In case, or like when the snapshot comes out, I'd be able to just like, you know, go explore it then so I could ex explore the new caves while I'm at it, rather than trying to reload chunks or go farther out in the world. But I think that would be like the smartest idea. We'll just have to deal with the water for now until 1.17, or at least the snapshot where you could generate new, new land on old worlds comes out. I could be next week or could be two months from now. I have no idea. So we'll just deal with it till then. Right, it's looking pretty cool already. Just take a look at this. The start to something huge. I'm sure probably going to only harvest this thing like twice anyway. And I'll be set for the rest of my days on this world. So what we need now is wood. Which we got right here. And I shouldn't have got, gotten rid of that. For now, but we'll deal with it. One, two, three, four, five. We'll make it go. There's water at the end there. Let me just double check. Yep, it's even. All right. 
so we'll take a look at how it's first gonna look with just one pillar in just like this and we could put hidden like glowstone blocks right here eventually too so i'll go grab the rest of the stuff we need to do this and we'll finish it up running on my way back now i just realized i don't have a whole lot of glowstone or any like lighting blocks other than torches so i'm gonna have to stick with torches on the walls for now to light up the place but that should be good for now everything else here that'll be a whole probably like two episodes in itself just going through this thing and taking out all the torches because that's like look how bad it is it looks horrible well this pool wants the smoke all right so i'll just grab i'll just do that to be safe and we're hungry we'll run back now we'll fill the water buckets too while we're at it We got one side of the wood done so far, and it's actually looking pretty nice. If it has water streams coming down on it, yeah, it'll look pretty freaking cool. So we'll just place, we'll do the torches like this so they're not as easy to see, and they'll be sort of like obstructed when the sugar cane grows. So that'll help out for now. While we will wait till we get more like a rare, not even rare, just more valuable blocks. I'm not going to do that. So now what we got to do is this. Ooh, that is not working. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, I think I can fix this. What if I just do this? There you go. Gotta be one more block higher. My bad. We'll just take a look. That would look pretty cool. So we'll just make another infinite source and then just fill it in. I shouldn't have gotten rid of it the first one. So live and learn. So one, two, there we go. I'm going to have to eventually replace the back blocks because those are still pretty obvious and look pretty bad. But that we'll just do that as like a small project if we go around the base and just try to fix a bunch of things. Other than that, this is coming along a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to have a lot of alignment issues with like stuff being one block off. But it's we're doing pretty good for now. So just we'll actually just get all this stuff done first before we put all the water and i'll cut back when it's done so i finished putting the wood in the second wall and we see we already got some stuff growing already we'll just break them up sort of build on to what we have in our inventory already so, now what I'm going to do is open the rest of these so I can now put down the water streams, which will be, which will look actually so cool, I believe, when it's done. So we'll see how it'll turn out. All right, so now the arm is like 99% done everything is finished the walls are finished ground is finished we got everything planted already and it's growing pretty fast so we're just we're gonna run through we have to like find like the sweet in-between line until we put down the uh 
what do you call it? Oh gosh, I forgot lily pads. Before we put down the lily pads. Which I'll probably end up trying to do soon because, you know, <laughs> I hate falling in every other block. Pretty annoying, and it makes it inefficient to harvest. So I'll actually, I might end up doing that off camera. I'll go into a mist, see where the nearest swamp biome is, and then just pick them up from there. Anyways, I'm going to call that the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Today was... A bit of a strange one because all we did was build a sugarcane farm but this is gonna help us a lot in the future we're gonna soon I plan on building a library with enchantments you'll have like an enchantment table anvils like books of enchanting chests of full of enchantments and we're gonna need all this sugarcane to really get it started So it's pretty stupid for now, but it'll help us a lot down the road, which is why I want to get the lily pads in now before we do anything else big. So yeah, and I don't know what we're going to do next episode. I got to really think of a project or something cool we could do. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And yeah. I'll see y'all next time.